and this is where I see some of these businesses not thinking they need the cloud, but you you nailed it in the sense that you need it for communications. Mm -hmm. You need right. it for recruiting people, because if you're recruiting people who are under, you know, any, any age really, um, mm -hmm. nobody's picking up a newspaper to read the career section anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> they're going on Kijiji or Craigslist, yeah. and. Um, so those are there's still that traditional business that's never going to be anything but physical, but they still need the cloud too, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, first of all, yeah, there are things that are are physical. You still need to build a building that's physical. You still need to farm and grow crops that's physical. Mm -hmm. But the 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 Physical activities can be reduced to a specific region, typically 50 to a, a 100 mile radius. Um, but the, the heart of a business is the intellectual capital, the data, the understanding of how to do that particular business, the business process. So if you leverage the cloud, to hold and exchange information about the business process and then separate the phys physical aspects of the business into workable regions mm. and connect those regions through the cloud, now you can revolutionize what you do. Mm. You can have that meet the physical requirement of, of delivery. You can also uh, meet the uh, regional or, or local um, expectations or preferences, but overlay that with the uh, best business model, the best processes, the exchange of information, so that doing you can understand the difference of doing that physical business in California versus doing that physical business in Rome, Italy versus doing it in Rome, Texas. So you you blend both worlds. Mm 